Hello, my name is Jeff Williams. I'm the director of rugby at Shawnigan Lake School. I'm a former Canadian international at 15s and 7s. I've been coaching rugby at Shawnigan here for 18 years and I've been with the first 15 for 18 years and then I had uh, about a six, seven year stint with the Colts as well. So we've just been invited to the uh, rugby school uh, 200th anniversary of the inception of rugby at the famous rugby school, which is pretty exciting for our, um, our students and school. Um, there are 20 teams invited to this and we're the only team from North America. So again, something very special for our, our players. Um, we'll be facing uh, some outstanding teams, some of the best teams from England, Ireland and Wales, um, teams from Chile, uh, Australia and South Africa. So again, it's gonna be a tournament that's gonna be uh, over two days and it's gonna be pretty grueling, but uh, it'll be exciting for our, for our um, players to experience not only where the game was first uh, started when uh, William Webb Ellis um, picked up the ball and, and ran with it, it's going to be uh, on the famous grounds the, called the Close Grounds. Um, so it's going to be pretty, pretty uh, captivating for the students to see where it all started, see the teams that we're playing, and then just to see some of the fans that are walking around will be some ex-international players. Um, so uh, it, it'll be pretty exciting, something that uh, they've never experienced before. Still nice in the area. Love it. Love it. I'm a little jealous or envious watching the boys over over there, but they're uh, getting stuck right into it. That's it. Get the blood flowing. Sitting on a plane doesn't really, Excellent. obviously, conducive to, to performance. But just get the boys sweating, moving, get the the minds focused on what's to come. Today is just about getting activation, just getting them um, mentally prepared for what's going to be the storm that's coming. Um, and it's yeah, it should be good. The boys are going to love it. Well, for the physical, like we just got to bring it to all the the boys. We got a good competition, you know coming to the UK, playing the, the some of the world's best, so you gotta bring it hard and fast to them. Yeah, I'd say it's it's pretty good to like just, uh, I don't know, be with the boys and be in downtown, uh, wherever, London, so yeah. You know, it's really it's really cool to see all these uh, things, you see them in movies, you see them in other places, but it's really cool to see it in uh, real life. I mean, touring has always been part of something Shawnigan has done very well, and and really it's the glue for our program. It sometimes takes those those student athletes that you know, aren't really sure um, they want to play rugby, but then they go on tour. They experience different cultures, uh, different players, uh, playing obviously in really tough games, um, going to uh, international rugby games, and then it it really does put the hook in. Super good to get the boys prepped and just get on the legs and it's it gonna be good competition. It's an awesome, awesome experience for the boys to be here and part of this, it's the largest school sports competition in the world and, and being part of an occasion with and a tournament with 230 odd sides in it is, is pretty unique and, and so the boys get to look at some of the best schools in this country and, and, and schools need to play against Canadian rugby as well and uh, it's a great chance to, to learn and grow um, and just brilliant to be here and part of this occasion. I think you'll see teams from here right across the UK just to witness and support each other and actually see other teams play and I think when you have also countries from 
across the across the pond, like Shawnigan coming over to to the UK. One, I think it's nice for countries like. Uh, teams in Wales to see them play, but also I think for the individuals of Canada, it's nice for them to experience, as you said, a different way of life, a different culture, meet new people, um, and also in the end, you'll probably gain uh, uh, lifelong uh, friends through it as well. And I think that's important as well for uh, all the individuals and through the school as well. Welcome to Wales, welcome to Cardiff, all the best. I hope you get really successful with every game that you play. Morning, here we are at Rugby School for the Bicentenary Sevens Tournament. Our boys are warming up for their first game. Just to my right, they've, they've drawn Clifton and they're playing on the hallowed turf. Uh, they've uh, been successful at Roslyn Park and now they're moving on uh, to the Rugby Tournament. Cult here, right? It's a way of life, it's a religion. Call it what you want. It's in their blood, it's in their bones. It is, it's, it's UK rugby, it's just the tops. I know a lot of people think that sevens and fifteens, you know, they are different games, but the skills are all the same. So for us, we really did focus, you know, the last three three months on sevens and playing sevens and the skills that are necessary to be successful at sevens. But those also transfer over in fifteens. So in terms of our skill uh, development, I would say we're exactly where we want to be. Um, but they just it's just unfortunately the, the games are they are different but the skills themselves are are very similar so um i would you know the boys are we're starting our 15s right now so they're they're right into it and um we're hoping that you know the trend continues with the hard work and the skill development that they've shown so far